So Cinema Makeup School offers a, has a mentorship internship program, which is amazing to me. Having gone to a makeup school, uh, sadly not CMS, you know, a student and a, and a, and a, a passionate, you know, um, uh, lover of all things makeup, I would have died to have that opportunity and experience. And that's never existed until something like this. You know, I, I'm asked, you know, I've been asked for years and years, you know, how can I become an assistant or an intern? And, and, and there, there really has never been a, a, a way to do that. And somehow Cinema Makeup School's figured out a way to do it. So good on that. I personally never had the benefit or saw the need for having assistants or interns who's never part of my you know, the, the scenarios I would get myself into. Um, until I got onto a show where I actually needed help, um, personal help, and I was afforded a couple of uh, assistant type interns, and, and it was just a life-changing thing for me. It's like, uh, you know, I've known many makeup artists during my career and who have had assistants. I, I, I was one for, <laughs> for a while. And, um, but I never thought of myself needing one. You know, I always thought I was kind of like, ah, I'm a control freak, I'll do it all myself. But when I had the opportunity to have one, it was a very valuable tool for me to have somebody that could do things for me and, and you know, take what I needed and kind of have things happen, be proactive and learn things. And, and then you realize, you know, and I, I'm putting myself in that position, what an amazing experience to be able to learn all that stuff. And, you know, and. Uh, you know, sadly, it's 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 very little hands-on makeup stuff. But more importantly, it's it's the rest of the business that you know it's hard to teach until you actually get into it, and and that's what it mostly entails. Which is uh, you can't you can't really even put a price tag on it. If the opportunity presents itself that you can go to a facility like Cinema Makeup School and learn from amazing instructors and learn every aspect of a profession that you may want to get into. I, I don't think that there's anything better than that. I mean, I graduated high school and skipped out on my SATs and skipped out on every college that was offering a scholarship to go to a makeup school because I thought that that's all I really needed. And there was things I didn't know. I didn't know how to do, you know, I didn't know how to apply blush. <laughs> um, so that was very important for me to learn things that I thought I needed for to the profession that I wanted to get into. And so the school is an, an amazing opportunity. And what Cinema Makeup School does, which is amazing, is they offer so many facets that other schools may not, which is, which is really great. Um, the internship being one amazing uh, aspect of that. Being a professional, you're constantly asked for advice. And my only advice, uh, you know, my singular advice is always, it's so much about your attitude. I mean, bottom line, you can be the greatest artist in the world. If you've got a bad attitude, and you're never going to work and no one's going to want to work with you. And you can always develop your skills. You can, if you're, if you're dedicated to being a good makeup artist or wanting to do this for a career, your longevity is, is determined by your skill set, but more importantly, by your attitude. And the people that survive and the people that thrive in our business have a great attitude. I can't tell you how many times that I've succeeded maybe over somebody else on sheer attitude and personality. Um, certainly not skill, because there are many people better than myself, um, but that's a huge factor. You make friends with everybody. You treat everybody better than you would like to be treated. You, you know, it, it's a matter of respect and dignity and um, having fun um, and just being the kind of person that people want to be around because our jobs are so personable so intimate with actors, directors, producers, and production, and, and you need to be the type of person that people trust and they want to put them, you know, you know give themselves over to you, that they, they respect and trust you to the point to make sure that they look good or bad or whatever the movie or project dictates, and you need to project that image, you know? It's, I, I personally think it's, it's dressing properly, it's, it's being friendly, it's being accommodating. Um, it's being uh, fluid, you know, a lot of bad stuff happens. You got to be able to roll with the punches and still make it work, still make everything as bad as things get come out smelling like a rose. The more you can do that, the more successful you will be, bottom line. It all comes down to professionalism. The more professional you are, 
um, uh, the better you'll be. And on those very first jobs where you're very nervous and you're bound to make mistakes, that's okay, but you learn from them quickly. I remember my very first job, I was joking around and you know, and like, and I got really comfortable and, and started cracking jokes and a couple of guys pulled me aside and said, you need to relax a little bit. And again, just, just be cool, you don't wanna, you know, you don't want to be seen as, you know, upsetting the apple cart type of thing. So you learn, you know, and sometimes people are there to help you that, that the more professional you are and exude professionalism, the, the better off, it's almost like acting a part, you know, the better off you'll be.